a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Bradley Wiggins Sir Bradley Mark Wiggins, CBE is a British former professional road and track racing cyclist, who competed professionally between 2001 and 2016. Nicknamed, Wiggo, he began his cycling career on the track, but has made the transition to road cycling and is one of the few cyclists to gain significant elite-level success in both those forms of professional cycling. He is the only rider to have combined winning both world and Olympic championships on both the track and the road, as well as winning the Tour de France and holding the iconic track hour record. In addition, he has worn the leader's jersey in each of the three Grand Tours of Cycling and as of 2016 holds the world record in team pursuit. The son of the Australian cyclist Gary Wiggins, Wiggins was born to a British mother in Ghent, Belgium, and raised in London from the age of two. He competed on the track from the early part of his career until 2008. Between 2000 and 2008 he won 10 medals at the Track World Championships, of which 6 were gold, 3 in the individual pursuit, 2 in the team pursuit and 1 in the Madison. His first Olympic medal was a silver in the team pursuit in Sydney 2000, before winning 3 medals including the gold in the individual pursuit, at the Athens 2004, and 2 golds in the individual and team pursuit at the Beijing 2008. On the road, Wiggins turned professional in 2001, but made it his focus from 2008. Initially viewed as a time trial specialist and as a ruler, he showed his ability in stage races. When he came fourth in the 2009 Tour de France, he was later promoted to third after Lance Armstrong's results were annulled in 2012. He signed with the newly formed in 2010, and in 2011 he claimed his first victory in a major stage race in the Criterium du Dauphine, as well as finishing third in the Vuelta a España. In 2012, Wiggins won the Paris Nice, the Tour de Romandie, the Criterium du Dauphine, and became the first British cyclist to win the Tour de France and the time trial at the Olympic Games. In 2014, he won gold in the time trial at the Road World Championships and founded the cycling team. Wiggins returned to the track at the 2014 Commonwealth Games, and in June 2015 he set a new hour record with a distance of 54.526 km. In 2016, he won a further world championship in the Madison and gold in the team pursuit at the Olympics, his fifth successive medal-winning appearance at the Games. He retired from all forms of professional cycling on 28 December 2016. Wiggins was awarded a CBE in 2009. Following his success in 2012, Wiggins was the subject of further honours and awards. The Velodor Award for Best Rider of the Year, the BBC Sports Personality of the Year Award, and a knighthood as part of the 2013 New Year Honours. Early Life and Amateur Career Wiggins was born on 28 April 1980 in Ghent, Belgium, to an Australian father, Gary Wiggins, and a British mother, Linda. His father lived in Belgium as a professional cyclist. His father left the family when Wiggins was two. Wiggins moved with his mother to her parents' house in Villiers Road, Wilsdon Green, northwest London, then to a church commission flat at Dibdin House Estate in neighbouring Maida Vale. He was educated at St. Augustine's Junior School and then St. Augustine's Church of England High School in Kilburn, where his mother was a secretary. He has a younger half-brother, Rian, from his mother and her partner Brendan, who separated when Wiggins was in his late teens. Football was his first passion, and he was an Arsenal fan, although he would watch rivals Tottenham Hotspur play, because his friends supported them. He discovered cycling when his mother told him to watch the television coverage of the individual pursuit final of the 1992 Olympic Games in Barcelona, which Britain Chris Boardman won. She explained it was one of the events at which his father had been successful. He watched the rest of the Olympics and fell in love with cycling and the Olympics itself. In 1992, aged 12, he entered his first race, the West London Challenge 92. On the unopened day 312 dual carriageway in Hayes, West London. Later that year he broke a collarbone in a road accident. He received £1,700 compensation for his injuries. He gave his mother £700 and used the rest to buy his first racing bicycle. At 12, he recalled, 
I told my art teacher, I'm going to be Olympic champion, I'm going to wear the yellow jersey in the tour. He joined the Arch Road Club, where his father had been a member in the late 1970s. He raced at Herne Hill Velodrome and on the road around Crystal Palace National Sports Centre. He gained domestic sponsorship from Condor Cyclist Olympia Sport and then Team Bright. He represented Westminster in the London Youth Games as a teenager, and in 2010 he was inducted into the London Youth Games Hall of Fame. At 16, he won the one-kilometre time trial at the 1996 Junior National Track Championships at Saffron Lane Sports Centre in Leicester. Selectors invited him to train at weekends at Manchester Velodrome. After leaving school he enrolled on a Tech Foundation course in business studies, but left due to cycling commitments. At the 1997 Junior National Track Championships he won the 1 km time trial, 3 km individual pursuit, points race, and scratch race. He was the only British competitor for the 1997 Junior Track World Championships in Cape Town, coming 16th in the individual pursuit and 4th in the points race. His breakthrough came in June 1998, winning the 3 km individual pursuit at the Junior Track World Championships in Cuba, aged 18. The following week, he retained his titles at the Junior National Track Championships in Manchester. He represented England at the Commonwealth Games in Kuala Lumpur, finishing fourth in the individual pursuit, and was a member of the team that won a silver medal in the team pursuit, his first senior medal. He became a full-time lottery-funded athlete, with a grant of nearly £20,000 a year. In 1999, he began training with the Great Britain team pursuit squad and rode the Brew Tour now known as the Tour of Britain, his first stage race at that level. In October he competed in the Track World Championships in Berlin, coming fifth in the team pursuit, and with partner Rob Hales, came tenth in the Madison, securing qualification for the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney. At the Olympics he won a bronze medal in the team pursuit, beating France in the bronze medal match, and came fourth in the Madison with Hales. In October 2000, he took silver in the team pursuit at the Track World Championships in Manchester, losing to Germany in the final by under half a second. 2001-2004, Early Years In 2001, he signed for the Linda McCartney Racing Team, a British professional road cycling team, but it disbanded after internal problems. He was briefly seen in Sigma Sport colours after the collapse of the Linda McCartney team, but then secured further lottery funding, and began racing for the British national team. He came second in the prologue of the Tour of Roads, two seconds behind Fabian Cancellara of, before winning the general classification in the Centurion of Mallorca and Flesh du Sud. In September he crashed his bike, requiring two metal pins in his right wrist. Two weeks later he went to the Track World Championships in Antwerp, managing seventh place in the individual pursuit and consecutive silver in the team pursuit. He joined the French team in 2002, relocating to Nantes, and soon became homesick, finding it a huge contrast to the British cycling setup. At the Commonwealth Games in Manchester he won silver medals in the individual pursuit, losing to teammate Bradley McGee in the final, and team pursuit, beaten by Australia, who set a new world record with a time of 3 minutes and 59.583 seconds. At the Track World Championships in Copenhagen, he came fifth in the individual pursuit and won a bronze medal in the team pursuit. Wiggins was frustrated with his result in the individual pursuit at the World Championships and became disillusioned with his future with. British Cycling then enlisted the newly retired Chris Boardman as his mentor. In May 2003, Wiggins made his Grand Tour debut at the Giro d'Italia. On the 18th stage he was eliminated from the race, finishing outside of the time limit in a group of 53 riders. In the summer he competed in the Track World Championships in Stuttgart, qualifying fastest in the individual pursuit, before beating Russia's Alexei Markov in the first round, setting up a place in the final against Australia's Luke Roberts. He beat Roberts by 0.736 seconds to win the gold medal, his first senior world title. He also came away with a silver medal in the team pursuit, beaten by Australia in the final, who broke their own world record with a time of 3 minutes and 57.280 seconds. In September he won stage 1 of the Tour de l'Avenir, 
beating teammate Benoit Vorgenard and S. Yost Postuma by 14 seconds. In November he won the Six Days of Ghent with Matthew Gilmorov. Wiggins signed with for the 2004 season, advised by Boardman, who rode for them his entire professional road career. He began training for the Olympic Games in Athens, at first struggling with illness and fitness. He arrived in peak form. He qualified for the individual pursuit with a time of 4 minutes and 15.165 seconds, an Olympic record, and fifth fastest time in history. In the final he beat McGee by over 4 seconds to win the gold medal. Wiggins was brought in to the team pursuit squad for the first round against France, replacing Brian Steele, and advanced into the final, where the team were beaten by Australia, settling for the silver medal. Wiggins then partnered Rob Hales in the Madison. With 90 laps left of the 200, Hales crashed, with Dutchman Robert Slippens, returning after a few laps. They lost a lap to their rivals, but with 30 to go Wiggins attacked. And they regained the lost lap, moving into second place. They lost points in the final sprint, moving them down to third, taking the bronze medal, with 12 points, behind Switzerland on 15 and Australia on 22. Wiggins became the first British athlete in 40 years to win three medals at one Games, the last being Mary Rand at the 1964 Olympic Games in Tokyo. On 31 December 2004 he was appointed an officer of the Order of the British Empire in the 2005 New Year Honours, for services to sport. 2005-2007 On the road In early 2005, he revealed his desire to compete in road cycling, and in April won the 16 km time trial around the town of Brie in northeastern France, on the second stage of the Circuit de Lorraine. In September he won his first race stage since 2001, stage 8 of the Tour de l'Avenir, finishing with teammate Saul Raisin, with third-placed Steve Cummings coming in 3 minutes and 24 seconds later. Wiggins competed in the Giro d'Italia, finishing 123rd overall. He came 7th in the time trial at the Road World Championships in Madrid, 1 minute and 31 seconds down on winner Michael Rogers of Australia. He moved for the 2006 season, and was selected to ride in the Tour de France, finishing his first tour in 124th place. In 2007 March, Wiggins returned to the track for the Track World Championships in Parma, Mallorca, his first appearance at the championships since 2004. In the qualifying round for the individual pursuit, he set his second fastest time since his personal best at the Olympics in Athens, with a time of 4 minutes and 15.976 seconds. He beat Germany's Robert Bartko in the final to win the gold, catching him after 2,750 meters. He then went on to win gold in the team pursuit, beating Ukraine in the final. He finished in 13th place in the Madison, with Rob Hales. On the road he won stage 1 of the four days of Dunkirk and the prologue of the Criterium du Dauphin Libre, before competing in the Tour de France and finishing 4th in the prologue in London. On stage 6 Wiggins launched a solo breakaway after 2 km of racing, leading the race for 190.5 km, before being caught by the peloton, with 7 km remaining. It was seen as a tribute to British rider Tom Simpson, on the 40th anniversary of his death in the 1967 Tour de France. But it was a gift to his wife on her birthday, with Wiggins only finding out about the date's significance after the race. He received the Stages Combativity Award, for the most aggressive rider, withdrew from the race before Stage 16 after Christian Morney failed a doping test. Wiggins and his teammates were interviewed by police, and had their hotel room searched. In the aftermath of the positive drug tests on Morney and on race leader Alexander Vinokurov, Wiggins spoke out against dopers in the tour and threw away his kit in a bin in Poor Pyrenees Airport, vowing never to race for the team again. Despite this Wiggins continued racing for, and in August he won the time trial on stage 4 of the Tour du Poir de Charente. In September, with teammate Michael Elijsen, he won the duo Normand a two-man team time trial over a course of 53.4 kilometers. His season on the road ended riding for Great Britain at the Road World Championships in Stuttgart, coming 10th in the time trial, 2 minutes and 10 seconds behind winner Cancellara of Switzerland.
a result he was disappointed with, after hoping to finish on the podium. In September he signed for the later known as for the 2008 season, joining compatriot Mark Cavendish, forming a partnership in the Madison. Their first race was the six days of Ghent in November, finishing in 10th place. Wiggins still riding for. Wiggins then made his only appearance. For the which is separate from the row team at the Beijing round of the 2007-08 Track World Cup Classics in December, winning gold in the individual pursuit and silver in the Madison with Cavendish. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?